Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader. So welcome to this session on day trading Forex, specifically focused today on divergence trading. You've probably heard this before where fortunes are made identifying a change in trend. And I think it was Trader Vic come up with that statement and it's very true. But divergence trading can also be one of the most difficult forms of trading. Now, what I cover here traders, if you trade futures or Forex or all of these or stocks, uh, Forex futures and stocks, what I teach here is just as applicable to any market it truly is so as we get underway i do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading only use the rent money for your trading if you're a very profitable trader and as always my videos are raw real and unedited so if i fluff anything up you're going to have to forgive me now a very very quick advertisement uh please uh download my free ebook the truth about day trading so you'll find the description link below uh, even better still, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and better still again, become a member for $197. You receive all of my PowerPoints. There's I think over 35 now. There's hundreds of hours of instruction. There's um, look, it's my members describe it as my membership as a gold mine when you log into the members area plus free indicators make no mistake this is a ten thousand dollar program and as a bonus and this is the end of the advertisement uh, you can also attend for one month eight live coaching sessions where I run live and recorded so if you can't attend the live session or if you want to watch a recording afterwards you can uh, attend eight of those which I run 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, every Tuesday evening and Wednesday evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. I've got around full, around 200 traders that uh, attend each and every month my sessions. And as most of you know, I've got well over 8,000. I think it's getting close to 9,000 members uh, in total now. Traders, this is a $10,000 program. It truly is for $197. All right, end of advertisement. Visit my website for more information. So let's get into this. What I want to teach you today is some techniques and some really, look, the most critical stuff I can on trading divergence. But I want to start off with a warning. And you've probably heard this statement. The person who chases two rabbits catches none. And tops and bottoms are so attractive because they look good in hindsight. Divergence trading is one of the most difficult forms of trading. However, to succeed as a trend trader, you need to understand what constitutes divergence, what constitutes angulation and divergence. Why? Because there are times when you need to stay out of a trend trade because you've got very strong divergence against you. So I recommend all new traders do not trade divergence, but learn it. Once you're consistently profitable as a trend trader, then you can start to introduce divergence trading to your arsenal. Now, and even then I recommend if you're trading multiple contracts, you would then halve the standard lots or halve the lots that you are trading with the trend until you master that. I've got many members that uh, start off uh, trading uh, with trend, they then introduce and some will then go back and say, I'll just stick with divergence trading. Uh, sorry, well, my apologies for audience slip with trend trading. However, I love divergence trading and you'll see why soon. Now, the late Jack Welsh, who unfortunately passed away a year or so ago now, uh, he stated that if you don't have a competitive advantage, don't compete. Now, what gives us our competitive advantage? It's our rules-based trading, our money management. We never, ever risk any more than 2%. Probabilities, probabilities, let me get this right, discipline and patience. We only ever trade when the odds are in our favor. Now, I love this. John Carter has got this on a big poster on his wall. And the rules, they may be stupid, arbitrary and irritating, but God help you if you break them. And that's so true when it comes to divergence trading. But what I want to show you, that with both trend trading and divergence trading, you can become very wealthy over a period of time. Now, 
traders, the experienced traders that are watching this is I've got over 80% of my members that join are experienced traders. They wanna take their trading to the next level or they've been struggling. So you may already have more than $1,000. However, if you're a smaller trader, starting off trading Forex or even futures for that matter, trading the micros, uh, I just wanna quickly show you this because when your why is big enough, the how will appear. So it's really, really important. I've got to take that dollar sign off there. It's really, really important traders that you have a big enough why you're doing this, why you're going to follow the rules. It's critical. So if you start with only 800 actually allocated as trading uh, funds, because I recommend if you kick off with $1,000, you're going to make mistakes. Okay, allow a buffer for those because I see it too often where traders start with the bare bones minimum. They have a couple of losses, then desperation creeps in. Traders, so many people underestimate the psychological damage it's caused by not trading correctly or making mistakes or being undercapitalized. Trading is a business. So let me quickly show you this. And traders, if you've already seen this, because I show this in nearly every one of my presentations, yes, you can skip forward, but I recommend you look at, at this again. So maximum risk, 2%. If you've got 800, that's 16 pips. Now that's on a mini. Now I'm gonna be showing you the charts. We will be looking at the charts and that's heaps for what we do. Okay, if your target is 20 to 80 mini pips, what's your goal? It really depends on the time that you're willing to allocate to your trading. But let's just say here you go for 30 mini pips a day. That's three 10 pip net moves a day equals financial security for life. And let me just show you why. So if you look at this uh, little chart here, and as a member, you also get this spreadsheet. And so let's just say here, you're allowing per, per lot that you're trading $800 because you've agreed mentally that you're never gonna risk any more than 16 pips. If say you're swing trading or uh, longer term trading, uh, you may have to have, uh, say if you're trading or got an average stop of 20 pips, you need to have a minimum of $1,000 here plus your buffer. But 16 pips, day trading with the time frames I'm about to show you is plenty. So 800, you're earning $30 net a day. And how this works is every time you earn another 100, uh, sorry, 800, you can start trading your second contract. So by week six, I start trading two. Week, uh, here we go, nine, I'm trading three. Traders, patience, discipline, patience, discipline. Time will pass anyway, but what we can see here is by week 27, you're up to your 10,000 a week income, your trading account is 65,000 by only earning $30 a day. Now, what if you go up to 50? Now, I just wanna be realistic with you here. The thing with um, uh, Forex trading, we've, it can be very slow at times, then we'll get 10 trades in an hour. So it really depends where you are in the world. For an example, I'm recording this uh, today down under in Australia. And when we go to the charts, we'll probably quickly see there's probably only been four, maybe four or five 10 pip moves uh, on a market today. If there's been a couple on the euro, I think there's only been two or three over the last six or seven hours. All right, but now we're about, we're, what is it here? It's 4.30 p.m. So in 90 minutes, the London uh, European session will fire up. And that's when we'll see a lot more trading activity. So on $50 a day, we're up to our 10,000 a week here within 10 weeks. Oh, sorry, my apologies, that's not true. Uh, where is it? Within 15 weeks, you're up to your 10,000 a week. 5,000 a week, uh, you'll, you've hit that in 12 weeks, starting with only $800. This is the potential. However, as my PowerPoint showed you uh, earlier, you've got to follow the rules and this is one thing where traders let themselves down time and time again so all you need is three 10 mini pip trades a day net for financial independence for life so how are we going to do this first of all when it comes to divergence as with any form of trading whether you be a trend trader a range bound trader you have 
different types of setups. When it comes to trading divergence, I've really identified them really into, uh, you could say really six different setups. A T7 is a double top or a double bottom. We have codes, okay, it just makes it easier that when I'm coaching, just to type on the, on the charts, etc. And so, and you have, we have abbreviation sheets with all of these and you pick them up within no time, okay? So you've got a double top, double bottom. A T19 is a divergence trade on your entry chart. I always trade with an entry chart, as you will see, an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two. When you're brand new, you can trade, start by trading with an entry chart, which you place all your trades on, and an anchor chart one. Then eventually you'll introduce a third chart, I would recommend, but you don't have to. Okay, so then we call it, when we start to get divergence on our anchor chart one or two, we call them one, two, or a three D is when you've got divergence, three divergences on all charts. It becomes very, very powerful. Now a mean reversion is an interesting one. A mean reversion is where we have a move in the market that is like a rubber band or a snapback where you get a large move in the market, then it will snap back to the medium again. So they call it a mean reversion. And I throw that really in the trading category of divergence trading. Now with all of these, and we're going to get to the charts shortly, but with all of these, they're all patterns. And we see these patterns every single day. Okay, uh, every market has them. The lower the time frame, the more patterns you'll have. But once again, the lower the time frame, the more noise you have in that particular time frame, the more false signals. Now, just a couple of things here on trading divergence. So I've been uh, doing this now for 27 years. And let me just show you something here. Uh, I, I'm a researcher, so I've got a huge amount, I've got a massive library, as many of you know, you've probably seen my library, the pictures. Um, when it comes to divergence trading, I've created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got 10 PowerPoints just on divergence trading. Some have been upgraded, some are just on the T19s or on the T3s. Um, uh, others here are like on great trade setups. Um, which we're going to have a quick look at, um, which is a power, uh, PowerPoint playbook of setups and patterns. And so I've been doing this for a long, long time. So please take this as solid advice. Now, Siri Dadell has written this excellent book, Trade Patterns Like the Pros. And in that book, he's got 64 different patterns that he talks about. Now, Suri, uh, he's a real gentleman. He, he openly admits he only trades 10 to 14 of these patterns. And some of these patterns, you know what? I'm not even smart enough to trade. <laughs> when you look at some of these, you know, the, the Gartley patterns, etc., they're beyond me. And they're really more suited for the swing trader rather than the day trader. I love day trading, I love scalping, I'm in and out, I don't hold overnight positions, my stops are nice and small, great return on investment. But in this book, he talks about the 2B. Now, what he talks also about is his five favorite patterns, which are Trader VIX 2B patterns. Now, not to be mixed up by the way, with, you'll hear me talk about my two Bs, which are two bounces, but these are actually divergence patterns. Now, Trader Vic was a very famous Wall Street, um, he's still alive, I believe. Uh, he, I bought this book back in, um, I think it was 94, so quite, um, quite some years ago. And in his book, and in Siri Dadella's book, he talks about Trader Vic's bottom buys. So what we've got here, uh, and these are Surita Dallas and many others will quote, um, uh, some may remember Buffy from, um, oh, gee, what was the name of the website? She was quite famous going back 20 years ago. This was her favorite setup as well. And it's fairly classic. We've got a lower low, or you can get a double bottom, then you've got your buy. For a sell, we've got a, uh, whoops, let me get that right. What have I done there? 
I've actually, uh, you'll have to excuse me there, traders. <laughs> I've got the buy, two buys. It's actually um, a sell, uh, which is basically inverse, turning this pattern around. So, gee, me, I must check my, my PowerPoints better. But, um, uh, but it's exactly the same pattern, but in reverse. Now, of course, and back then, they didn't have the computer powers they've now got. And so if we take that pattern, <clears throat> where we got a lower low or a higher high, we now will use an oscillator um, for a divergence, okay, for picking divergence. So that might be a CCI. I love the MACD. It could be, um, oh, dear me, an RSI. There's lots of different oscillators that you can actually use for divergence. And there's... Look, I nearly said there's no wrong, right or wrong, but in a way there is, because I want it to be specific on my turning point. As a short-term trader, it's very important to me that I pick a certain turning point. Now, there's a few things here that we must take in consideration. So let's perhaps just go uh, directly to, uh, this is a, one of the PowerPoints that I give my members and we go through in our coaching sessions. And what I'm teaching my members is really what they're looking for. And, and many of you know, I love Renko charts, love tick charts. Now, this is obviously a custom Renko chart. Now, a couple of things in mastering divergence is this. It's what we call angulation. Now, angulation, the idea of angulation, I actually got originally many years ago from Bill Williams, the famous Bill Williams, who's a real genius when it comes to trading with fractals. And that's these little black dots you will see. I don't actively refer to them in my trading, but now just in, in the background. But what I want to get across here is, look for these great angulation trades. That is where you see from your moving averages, price moving well away, because when you've got price strongly angling away and you have what we call a PB is a pivot bounce. There's a midline pivot, here's the pivot. And you have a 2D, that is where you have divergence on two time frames. okay? This is an extremely high probability trade. But what's important here is angulation when it comes to divergence. Now, we look at this one here. So we've got some divergence here at 2D here as well. Now, note the distance to the 34 EMA. The further away you are, the better. Now, on this Renko, you've got a little bit of divergence here on your entry chart, but on your anchor chart too, you've got a great deal more divergence. And note the angulation, traders. Okay, note that. Price is angled away. Be very, very wary of taking divergence trades when you're in a channel or when you're running parallel, when price action is running parallel with your moving averages, whichever ones you use. Here we've got it again. Now, what you also want to be aware of when it comes to divergence trading is this. What's the trend bias on your anchor charts? Now here I've got, and the time frames I use are very important. But here we've got the anchor chart one. Now if three charts sort of does your head in a little bit as a newer trader, just use the anchor chart one initially. But note the trend. Okay, the trend is your friend till it ends. But note, you don't want to jump in front of a steaming locomotive. Now here, what you can notice here is we did have great angulation and good distance down to my um, moving averages here. So this with great angulation made it a good trade. Here is another one. And this one here, I've got great angulation and really good divergence again. So hint number one uh, here is, do I have a 2D or a T19? Really good angulation and divergence. So let's now go and have a look at my other PowerPoint here. That's the live charts which are going to come to. This is specifically one of the key ones I've got on trading divergence. So uh, I've got very, very comprehensive training for members on divergence. And actually in coaching, we spend a lot of time on it because as I said, here's a really good example. 
just here we had a really good move and this actually here was what we call the 2D. I've got divergence, I've got divergence. Now remember what I said about jumping in front of the steam train, well here in the reversal, you've got to be very, very careful. Uh, and this was a live trade I took, uh, that's on the NASDAQ. So with these trade setups here, after major divergence, they will nearly, or, or probably 85% of them will fail. So this is why it's important you know when not to take a with trend trade because a very high percentage fail. Here, here's another really nice divergence trade. Down here, we had a little T19, very, very weak. A T19, 80 odd percent of the time, you'll then get what we call a 34B straight after. So with a very high degree of certainty, if you've only got divergence on your lower time frame, you know you're nearly always going to have what we call a trend continuation. However, we have that, that fight off very, very nicely. We come down, so we've made a new lower low. I've got a higher low on my MACD and look over at my anchor chart one, lower low, and I've got a pivot bounce and some divergence. Now this MACD setting will not work on a normal MACD. This is what we call a zero lag. Okay, so I give you the settings to set up a normal MACD to model my um, uh, MACD. Here we've got here, little double top against the pivot, okay, and a little bit of divergence. Just trying to find you some good examples. Here we've got lovely double top, screaming divergence, great divergence, look at it dropping away. I didn't take it there, but I traded this here, and this is what we call, by the way, a T10. It's also known as a money on the floor trade or a ka trade. It's been around for years, a setup, nothing special about it, but, very, very high probability after a 2D. And in this 2D, you can see, if you had have entered here, we were mighty fine. It come up and tested our, our, um, our stop, it didn't stop us out. Uh, but this is why we like to have our stop one tick above the swing high or one tick below the swing low. Let's just have a look at maybe one more. Uh, here we've got a tick chart next to a Renko. Now, I love trading with both. And when I say that, with both, so I've got, of course, multiple screens. So I've got on some of my screens, I have Renko, and I've got above the, uh, above the Renko, actually, the relevant tick charts. Because uh, Renko's beautiful, as you can see just here, right? That distance there is there for smoothing out price action. It's beautiful. But we can also then miss out on some other entry opportunities. So let's just say we'd have jumped in down here. We scalped and took our profit out. We can see here we've got a solid run up here. So one may say there's no other re-entries, but in fact, you've got some slingshot entries down here. And you can also see the tail, see that black tail there? You can trade the tails. You don't want to trade any more than two or three in a solid trend before you get a pullback. But you've got a, well, that's actually a rule of one there. But you've got, you, you, your tick charts will give you multiple entries that you may miss out on otherwise. Okay, um, here, look at this here. No divergence on your entry chart. But look over here on your anchor chart, screaming divergence. Okay, so this is one of the reasons we trade with our anchor charts is for overall trend direction and for confirming divergence trades on a higher time frame. Now, let's just have a look at this. Now, what I've gone to here is um, gone directly to the charts. So we're on a live chart here now. And this is on the Aussie dollar USD. And this is a one tick Renko chart here. Now, before you come and tell me, oh, there too, you can't trade a one pip. Actually, when I say one tick, it's actually one pip. Got to remember, we're looking at Forex here. Uh, you can't trade it. Rubbish traders. Look at that there. That's 45 minute distance, okay? And nearly all of these 
a, a very high percentage of tradable. See this rapid move? This is what I call a snapback or a T3 is our code for it. Now you look at that and say, oh, well that was news. You couldn't have traded that rubbish. Let's just have a look at this here. Whoops. Um, uh, 45, 46, 40, 40, where are I? 49, uh, 51, 52. You had five minutes, okay? Five minutes to, to set up for this reversal and bang. There you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would have been out there on the bounce anyway, but you had actually seven, eight, nine. It come down and touched nine pips at that stage right now one of the very important things though even though it may be a fantastic setup you still want to obey the rules of where's my target and when i say that what's in front of me there are really three main things that we're concerned about when we trade where's my entry where's my stop loss go and where is my target now let's just say here we take this long uh, and what why is that long well just look at this here. Now let's just go to the right hand side and don't give me the nonsense. Well look, it's easy to look back after the fact. All right, traders, trading doesn't have to be difficult. Let's look at this. First of all, what's the trend bias? Look on your anchor charts. We are in an uptrend, we're in an uptrend. Once you understand the power of these moving averages, you'll just believe in them, okay, that is, Right here, on the third close there, I have an entry. And that's it right there. Now, with that, with that specific entry, sorry, my phone's just going off here. With this specific entry, I place my stop one tick down below. My entry is one tick above, okay? So if I do that, I've actually got a six pip stop in this particular case. That's the size of my stop, one, two, three, four, five down there, six. Okay, so that is six dollars if you're trading a micro. Now, look ahead of you, look above. What have you got? And this is applicable whether you're trading divergence or trend trading. Above, I've got the pivots. See that? I've got a weekly pivot and I've got a daily pivot. Now, it doesn't mean that you exit there, but you just want to pull your stop loss up Okay, you don't want to risk too much. Now we've broken free of the pivot. Now note here with the trigger line, can you see how price is gapping away from the trigger line? Now I'm looking for three lower closes. There it is there. I've got my snapbackers now set up. Now where's my entry? On the close of a third or if I use a sell stop in on the fourth candle. My stop goes one tick above. You don't have to do that, but just over years I've proven it, it just pays you to do that. You're still only looking at a six um, uh, pip stop plus your spread. So still nice and tight. Great for a small account. Now, this is a, a divergence isn't important when you've got a T3, a snapback. Now, where's my target? I look down below, and this is complicated, this one, because I've got these pivot levels, but my target is the cyan line. We have fairly standard rules on these, where are we going to target? I get a bit of a bounce, come down now, I pull my stop way down there to two pips above, okay? Coming down, and I'm dragging my stop down, and I'm out right here, actually on this one just here. So there that's only a five or six tick return, but it's also a counter trend move, meaning when you have a CT move, be prepared for a tighter um, target. And the reason being is here you're trading against the overall trend, as you can see just there. Now, let me show you some other things here on divergence. Uh, some Now I'm just going to uh, here, well here's one, right here, plain as day. All right, so let me just drag this over here and just show you this. Let me do this. Just drag this over here. And that is this point, whoops, the daisies. Now, by the way, I'm displaying this and you can see I've got, um, this is my live chart, but on Forex, uh, I can't trade 
uh, on the charts or on my DOM, I do my futures trading here um, using TradeStation, but they no longer are Forex brokers as well. So you'll need to, if you are a TradeStation user, of course, open an account with a Forex broker. Uh, if you're um, using, say, MT4, uh, or even MT5. I have the Super Scalp, see that white paint bar? I've got the TTM Scalper for you. Uh, for MT4, I don't have it for five, but these turning points are all a pattern. Very easy once you know the rules. But um, you can also buy Renko and, uh, uh, what's the other one? Renko and, dear me, uh, range charts, I should say. There's a plugging for $49 or $50 you can buy for a lifetime license for MT4 or MT5, which is really good. And I've got it in the members area who to go to. I don't get anything out of it. I don't even know the guy that sells it, but I've got hundreds of members um, have purchased his. Now, what I want you to notice here straight away is this. Price rallies up. First of all, we've got a pivot bounce, okay, right there on the R1. I look down here, I've got divergence. I look over here, I've got slight divergence. Okay, and we're here. Where's my entry? The close of the third candle, where's my target? Because I've got some slight divergence here, my target's a cyan, okay? Now, doesn't mean traders, you don't exit. For an example, on having a super scalper plot just here, Okay, uh, now would be a good time to get out, and this is really a break-even trade, okay? So, uh, in here, and, and by the way, some of you have heard me talk about, and if you remember watching this, see how weak that divergence signal was, but it still was divergence, that turned in, of course, into a 34B, okay, which is classic after a T19. But anyway, we're looking at this here, Price is rolling up. Look, keep an eye on your divergence. Watch your MACD dropping away here. Okay, now what have we got? Now I've effectively got a double top. Now, even though it's an exact double top, looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Okay, we've now got a double top at this stage. Now, there's something else I want you to notice. Look over at your anchor chart. Let me show you this. Let me just scroll this over for you. What is price action bouncing off there? The 200, 89, 89, 200. I've now got great divergence on my anchor chart one, great divergence on the entry chart. My target, as I said before, and I didn't quite hit it, is cyan, bang. And down we come and we hit it. Let's have a look now at the Euro dollar on the heart charts. The heart chart is a combination between Renko and Heikinashi. Now, a heart chart plots on the basis of the last two periods, whether it be, if it, you were trading a daily chart, it'll be based upon the um, uh, two days trading, or if you're trading a time-based chart or a Renko or whatever, two periods. But see the shaved heads? That signifies a uh, a great trend. So technically speaking, you stay in until you get one of these candle formations down here. But what I wanted to show you was this. Price rallied up and so as you can see we're live. We then formed a perfect double top. What do I then look for when I've got a double top? All right, I look down here and I can see that I've got divergence. Now, because here I've only got divergence on the uh, lowest time frame, that there's no divergence here. Uh, that is what we call the T19, but it's also, many of you have heard me talk about the bet the farm trade. A bet the farm trade is where you've got a double top or double bottom with the trend with divergence. And there it is there. Okay, and we wanna take that also Look at your anchor chart one, look at your anchor chart two. What's the trend bias there? We can see we've got a very strong downtrend. Now, I just wanna show you how easy this can be. Now you look over here, and let me just mark this up just there. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I come back down here to the pivot. Here's my divergence. Now, this is big picture, 
I call it big picture. So I'm looking at the short term divergence here and you can see we're bouncing off a weekly pivot and, and a, an S1 here. And over here, I've got divergence here. All right, so because I have what I call a 2D, two divergences, divergence and divergence, I target the cyan again. It's, you'll hear it's pretty standard, okay? We almost hit the cyan. Now there we only were up six or eight ticks and you can see here, great move. And even this one up here um, uh, was, a, was some great moves here, of course. But we're also, and by the way, we're, it's now 5 p.m. my time, meaning uh, Germany is just opening the German market and in an hour we'll get, um, uh, London will open. So we'll see a lot more activity. So with high Kanashi or HA charts as this is called, and I teach members these training videos how to set this up, uh, we're gonna stay in until we get this um, sort of formation down here or a color change. Now you can set this up on virtually any, nearly any platform now will allow you to do what's required for this. If you still ask me what's my preference, it's still, the Renko. Now, if we look at the one tick Renko here, here is that pattern we were just looking at on the hard charts just there. Okay, now, when we look at the Renko, let me show you this. Here's that double top. So what we've got here, just here on our entry chart, our main trading chart, there was your a classic entry, a 34B just there. Thank you very much, it's 10, easily 10 um, pips there. And up here, now, why not enter this one? or well, this one, because we don't have three lower closes. Here's your first potential entry, just on that candle there. Now, we look over at our anchor chart for our divergence trade, we have no divergence here. There is no divergence. It is a T19, which is means I've got um, divergence here. It's and it's a pivot bounce. See, I'm bouncing off the pivot, so I do have a legitimate entry. Remember, what did I say about my stop? One pip, or if you're trading futures, one tick. Except, by the way, if you're a futures trader, you want to go two ticks above your swing high if you're trading the Nasdaq or the micro Nasdaq, right? Or two ticks below. Oh, and even here is a screaming one. Look at this here, traders. There is a 2B, a 2D. Why is that a 2D? Divergence, pivot bounce, huge tick. Look at that, divergence, pivot bounce, huge tick. There's your 10 pips. Now, if you decide to only trade 2Ds, there's a difference, is what we call, now, Trader Vic, and this is where it's confusing. Trader Vic calls these 2Bs, okay? I call these 2Ds, two divergences. Now, I call these where I'm bouncing off two higher time frames with the trend Bs, two bounces, two divergences or two bounces. Up here, this is a T19 at this stage, I've only got divergence. If you're a new divergence trader, okay, that is you're already making money uh, trend trading and you decide to start trading divergence, okay, just do two Ds. You don't have one right now. You've only got a T19. You're gonna wait. Now, comes down if you were in it, it tests your high. Now, it's getting interesting because now I've got a bet the farm on two time frames, which is a huge tick, and divergence, that is I've got a higher high on price with double top and a lower high on my MACD. This is a short you want to take every day of the week and bang. And talk about targets. The logical target here is when you start to break your, is, is your major pivots. In fact, the stats are traders that um, from floor pivot to the S1 or from the floor pivot up to the R1, the S1 stands for support, the R stands for resistance. It's, you've got a 92% chance of going down there and hitting the S1 or going up there and hitting the R1. Now, let me say this, that um, because we're trading, uh, this is Monday afternoon, so this is sort of very late Sunday night. Oh, actually it's 
it's Sunday morning now, uh, going by the time now, sorry, Monday morning, 2 a.m. Your pivots when they replot, mine replot based upon midnight on the um, exchange, the way I do it, have my pivots set up, meaning that Monday they can be very narrow. Normally you'll see your pivots much wider apart. And uh, for members that are joining me, uh, I teach you how to trade these pivots because there's, when it comes to your pivots, they're about the only real leading indicator because they're based on yesterday's price action, open, high, low and close. Now, with that being said, said though, there are a lot of different types of pivots. You've got Woody's pivots, you've got Fibonacci pivot levels, and you know what, nearly all of them work. And the reason being, they become what we call a self-fulfilling prophecy because so many traders trade them, right? But you have what you call a pivot magnet trade. Pivot magnet trade is as you get closer to the pivot, you want to sell into the pivot. If you're a scalper, you sell into it because you've got a very high probability you're going to bounce. So you've got the PMs, which is the pivot magnet trade. Then you've got your PBs, which stands for pivot bounces. Now, your best pivot bounces or rejections of the pivot are when you have divergence. And there are certain markets like oil, a black gold, the Texas T, where you'll only ever trade divergence if you're bouncing off a pivot. These middle areas here we call no man's land. With oil, CL, you don't want to take a divergence trade in the middle because you know you almost get faked into a trade, then it will continue to come down for a bounce. Uh, it's not it's not so much of a problem with the Forex market, with the ES for an example, with many other markets, but there are certain markets you need to be very, very wary of. All right, just see if I can find just another quick example here. Um, we've got a tick chart here. All I'm looking at is my formation down the bottom here, traders. All right, this one here. So all I've got to do is read, look look at it this way. Imagine you're a pilot flying of a night time. You can't see the land. These are your instruments. If you're a pure price action trader, sure, there's your double bottom. I like these, and, and look, the reason they call them indicators, because they indicate, they indicate a possible turn. But when you understand how to use their tools, just like you can give the best set of tools to a lousy craftsman and he's still gonna produce terrible work. You've gotta know how to use your tools. So um, down here, when I'm doing uh, live calls with my members, I'll say, look, watch this. We're looking at the divergence, okay? That's what we're looking for. So here we've got a double bottom just there. And I've got a double bottom, which is a T7, and I've got a higher low on my MACD. Now, what makes this a loaded chart? It's also what we call a T12. Now, what the hell is a T12, you're thinking? That's where you get a rejection off your higher time frame. See there? We see this traders every single day. Natural fact on this one, let me just do this. There's a little mistake with this. Put this together. Let me just uh, rectify this because it's not showing the tails. Very important, we wanna see the tails, of course. Just do this. Don't know why it's like that. I wanna uh, take away, set that as default. Okay, so now we can see that beautiful little double bottom and the rejection, okay? Okay, so there, we're long. We are taking this long and bang, away we go. So that was a nice counter trend move, a divergence trade, and a midline pivot bounce and a double bottom. The market loves to try things twice. It tested the bottom. So traders, when it comes to divergence trading, there is a lot to it. That is, it's very easy to get caught up with divergence trading because so many traders uh, try to pick those tops and bottoms. But if you're in, you know, and look, we've all been there where we're thinking, gee, the trend just can't continue, it can't continue, I'm gonna bet against it, bet against it, that's what they're doing. 
they're trading against it when they don't have angulation. And you'll see divergence traders getting killed at times. It's so important that you take the time and learn it. Look for the angulation which we spoke about. Look for the higher highs or the lower lows with a corresponding oscillator confirming the move. So in, in finishing, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Better still, become a member. I give you full email support and plus you'll get eight live sessions where you can type in questions, ask questions, and, and as a member anyway, you can send your charts in um, uh, for a review. I answer your emails, you deal with me personally, uh, and really traders, there's nothing else like my program out there, particularly when you get to attend the live sessions. Uh, and no, just, um, I get a lot of inquiries about my personal coaching. I am booked out for the next three or four months with the one-to-ones. But come and join the group coaching sessions. It's just as good. And, and by the way, after your first month, which is only 197, that includes the gold mine of my Day Traders Fast Track program. To continue on my coaching, live coaching classes, it's only $97 a month. You can cancel at any time. So wait live to our sessions. And it's just part of your education. All right, traders, thank you very much. And um, I'll see you in the classes. See you as a member. And see you in the next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.